Hi everyone, I'm Allison from Highlights and I'm here with my dog Lenny. He loves to hear a good story and I have some good stories to share with you from this recent issue of High Five Magazine. We have a poem about peanut butter pine cones. We have a story about creating an idea jar for when you're bored and some cool information about a hearing dog. I think you're gonna like that one, Lenny. So let's get started. This poem is called Peanut Butter Pine Cones by Charles Guigna with art by Dave Zalay. Peanut butter pine cones hanging from the trees. We roll them in the bird seed and hang them in the breeze. We watch our little feathered friends picnic in the sun. They chatter, thank you, thank you, for their peanut butter fun. That's a great idea to bring birds to your trees. That's your favorite snack too, Lenny, peanut butter. This next story is a Texan indie story, and Texan indie are some of our most popular characters in High Five Magazine. This story is called The Idea Jar by Lissa Rovich, with art by Deborah Melman. You might relate to this one if you've been running out of things to do. It seems like we've been at home forever, sighed Indy. I've done this puzzle a hundred times. I've looked at this book a million times, said Tex. It sounds like we need some new things to do, said mom. Let's make an idea jar. This jar has ideas, asked Tex. It will soon, said mom. We write down ideas for things to do and put them into a jar. Then when we want something new to do, we reach into the jar and do whichever thing we pull out. Just then, their cat Charlie hopped on the table and batted the pen with his paw. Charlie thinks our first activity should be to play with him, said Indy. Great start, said mom, writing it down. What else can you think of? We could make up crazy dances, said Tex. We could draw pictures with our eyes closed, said Indy. We could call Poppy and Grand since we can't visit them right now, said Tex. Soon the idea jar was filled to the top. The first activity they pulled out of the jar was to make a fancy kitty toy out of things from around the house. This is fun, said Indy. The idea jar is great. And look, said Tex. Charlie likes new things too. I think I need to start making an idea jar so we can have fun activities to do every day. This next story is a true nonfiction story. This is about Dr. Rose and her hearing dog. See that one? You know that dog? This is by Dr. Danielle Rose with photos by Ann Zirkel. And this is Dr. Rose with her dog, Delight. See that? This is Delight. She works as a service dog. She has very good hearing. She helps Dr. Rose know when there are sounds around her. Dr. Rose and Delight see patients together. Dr. Rose is a pediatrician, a doctor who takes care of children. Delight goes with Dr. Rose when she sees patients. Delight must be quiet during these appointments. She's a good girl, huh? Delight lets Dr. Rose know when people are trying to get Dr. Rose's attention. Dr. Rose gives Delight a treat for her good work. You get a lot of treats too. Dr. Rose makes sure to play with Delight and give her plenty of exercise. Dr. Rose and her dog are good friends. And here they are playing together. We're gonna do that later. Here we have some information about a hearing dog. The bright orange vest shows the dog is working. Waste bags, bandana, and drool wipes are stored here. This patch shows that this is a certified service dog. How else do animals help people? That's a really good question. How do your pets help you? Lenny helps me know when there's someone coming to the door or there's a squirrel outside or a deer. Right, Len? And he's a good friend too. So I hope you're enjoying the start of spring, which is coming soon. And we'll be back soon with more stories. Take care.